Hey everyone, welcome back to more Ace Attorney. All right, so new episode to start. So we're gonna have, actually be doing an investigation and stuff, I believe. We should be. Yeah. So that'll be fun. We get. Oh, the time is 1 a.m. Detective, we made it. Whew, what a relief. Glad the drill's still safe. <gasps> Come shoo! Ho oh, ho, you said it, pal. Must have been our rock solid security that scared him off. Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? Is it gone? Salutations. Ah! We've been had. Mass Damask. Out front, guards. Turn on the searchlights. <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now. We shall meet again, when the next moon is full. <laughs> Why does he keep laughing? I, I think it's supposed to be very evil, but I'm not good at that. <laughs> um, October 11th, 3.24 p.m. Hey Nick, get a load of this. Hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later. Later, this is important. <sighs> what are you freaking out about now? Hehe. <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me that way. Huh? We're about to hit the big time. Big time? What do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me are... Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Talk about me? And Pearly, of course. Hello, it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. Pearls, you haven't changed a bit. Wait, what are you doing here anyway? Hehe, <laughs> haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this. What's this? Some kind of poster. Church exhibition. Secret urn, Korean village. Oh, it's the one they put together. Korean village? Is that, isn't that... That's right, it's our hometown. Pearly and mine, that is. This is about treasures from the boonies. Haha, <laughs> you're very funny. You can laugh all you want. But you'll be signing another tune tonight. Singing. Tonight? What about tonight? The Treasure of Korean exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but... Pearly sent us some special VIP entry passes. That's why I dressed up extra spe special today. What do you think, Nick? <laughs> Same Maya, different day. This young lady here is my Maya Fay. Younger sister Mia Fay, my friend and mentor. So I first met her two years ago. Right. Oh my gosh, it's been two years. <laughs> I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then. I've been the one who's been keeping this law office afloat from behind the scenes. Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium and a bit of a shady character. Hey, who are you calling shady? And this little girl is Pearl Faye, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. I know I'm a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. Korean Village is the home of the mysterious Korean channeling technique. And Maya is here is the daughter of the Korean Village school channeling's master. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's a real thing, all right. Earth's Nick, how long are you going to make, t make two gorgeous women like us wait? Yes, Mr. Nick, can't wait any longer. 
I want to see the exhibit. <sighs> Looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head out. Head on out. Okay. Ooh. Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. All depends on how you display it. Oh, they even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in my that was in the Fay Manor storeroom. Oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when I was a little girl. A fairly heirloom. Say, Nick? The person in charge of the exhibit exhib exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. Alright. Guess we should go and say hello. Guess we should look. I think I remember this old folding screen here. Pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence. <laughs> in that murder case that happened in Korean Village. This folding screen is the greatest of all the spirit channeling secrets. Six leaf Korean sacred writings folded folding screen. So secret, then why is it the most prominent thing in the exhibit? Piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably a s a so trick? A sotric? I don't know. Knowledge only means when no. Hmm, let's see. Here's the title in English. 108 ways to save money. I am pretty sure the number has gone up since the last time I saw it. Well, we're always looking for new ways, you know. I think a medium sounds like a rough way of life. There's nothing here. What's with this big cushion? It's just lying around with nothing on it. Hmm. It must be for the greatest treasure of all. The greatest treasure? Is there something like that? Huh? Why, of course there is! Right, Prilly? Oh, um, yeah, of course. But, yeah, but I, I'll bet it would be really, it would really take your breath away. Just a bunch of old urns. Are these really treasures, too? Of course they are. This is a treasure ex exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. So all it takes is to be a treasure. To be a treasure is age. No wonder nobody likes museums. Oh, Mystic Maya, look! Can't believe it. It's so cute! It's a little diorama of Korean Village. Yeah, look at that. But somehow it seems to reek of dreariness. Oh, Mystic Maya, it's your house! It even says Fay Manor on it. Yikes, you're right. I kinda wanna add the famous in front of it. Don't do it, Maya. They might get mad. Um, okay. I don't think there's much else to look at. Are we supposed to be down here? <laughs> yep, this is a basement warehouse, you're right. This is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out at any time. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Right? Ink! A monster! You're right! <laughs> huh? A monster? <gasps> oh my gosh! Good evening, it's good to see you again. You! I know you. <laughs> nice to see you again too, little miss. Uh, hello. Is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Oh, that's right, she was kidnapped. <laughs> nice, to see nice to meet you, I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the promotion and planning for this treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for security arrangements. Oh, um, nice to meet you. Major and Cher has changed since the last time we met. So this is the warehouse. The really valuable exhibit, I exhibit items are stored, still stored away in here. It's good to see that she's doing good, I guess. Really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? Why are you freaking out on me? What? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up. That's all. 
<laughs> Mystic Maya, you should have let him get off the hook so easily. Please, Maya, don't say anything that ne that that'll needle pearls further. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. It it was something that happened seven months ago. Ooh, okay, it's been seven months since then. Since then. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case? Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? <laughs> After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for us. No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I am really grateful. Whew, that's a relief. I mean, yeah, she's kind of in a rough patch there. <laughs> really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibit exhibition like this must be very tiring. Well, Worthy Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. The works on display in the main exhibit exhibit exhi <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what is the word? Exhibition hall are worthy of the finest museums. <laughs> Woohoo! Did you hear that, Pearly? The finest museums. Yes, I did. That's really wonderful. This basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. Security guards are all very highly highly trained as well. That sounds good. So what's with that face she's making? Hmm. Can you present something? Oh, we saw this. Okay, well, I guess we'll... No, we had to come here. Should I show her this? Okay. I wanted to do something nice for you and your friends, Mr. Wright. So that's why you arranged this exhibit. I knew the Korean village was the hometown of your assistant, Maya. I thought it'd be great to let the rest of the world know about it, too. Hmm. That's not exactly thanking me, per se, is it? Maybe, but who'd want to see an exhibit on the treasures of Phoenix Wright? I guess I can't argue with that one. I guess we'll look around. At anything? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, something just went off. There it is. It's like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on it is the, is the burr. Aha, I got it. Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger. Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something? I kind of doubt it. Aha, I got it. Maybe it said spaghetti? Why are you talking about food? Oh, wait. That's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay, to me, besides spaghetti is the only thing more t tangled than your reasoning. This computer, it looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. And that means what? The camera's set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out of the storeroom. Then the data from the camera gets uploaded to the computer here. That's what. I see. That's some pretty high-tech stuff. Security camera. It's trained on the warehouse door. It's set up to take a picture of anyone that enters and exit or exits the door. Ounce of pre prevention is worth a, a pound of cure, they say. Look, a ladder. A step ladder. What's the difference? You need to stop judging beings based on a narrow minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. Why do I feel like we had the same conversation before some before somewhere? Sorry, this should be for open on. <laughs> Mr. Nick, what's with that big door over there? Looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. Really? Let's go in! I want to take a look. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized personnel. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> okay. Well... What do I do now? I think I looked at everything. Okay. Can I move anywhere? Okay, what am I doing? Present this. Um, so what about this? Hmm. Oh, okay. I owe a great deal of, deal of thanks to that badge. It's the only reason that I'm still here today. Oh, come on now. That's not true. I think what Nick means to say is that it wasn't thanks to the badge, it was thanks to me. Tell the truth, Nick. I know that's what you were thinking. N no way, Maya. I already presented that. Oh, I can slide! Here we go. I didn't realize there was more to the room. It says... Organi. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says organize. You just can't see the last two letters. Yeah, well, I guess no one else could read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, you must feel right at home, huh? <laughs> okay, we got this big old statue. Mystic, Mystic Maya, take a look next to the door. That, that's Mystic Ami, right? Yes, it's a statue of the woman who lived, in, who invented the crane channeling technique, my Amy Faye. Statue is lo on loan from one of the training training halls of the Faye branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Ah, uh, there we go. What's with that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me, how should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the Korean. Shit. She. Shichi. Shito. Shichi Shito? Shichi Shito. It's a ceremonial sword. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Aw, Pooey. I wanted to cut something. What are you eyeing me for? Oh, look, it's already 8 p.m. Have you all eaten yet? Um, well, actually... I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all dine together? Ooh, I like the sign of that! Dine, it sounds fancy. I'll have the kids lunch! Haha, <laughs> Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch. Why don't you go for it and really eat, eat your fill with the kids' dinner? Okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. <laughs> Shall we head upstairs, then? There we go. After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. I was wo It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined. But the very next day, something terrible would happen. <gasps> I hope she didn't die. That'd be devastating. <laughs> Nick! This is terrible! What the? You're cleaning the toilet again. Never knew you were such a toilet freak. Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm going to turn on the TV. We got an update on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe it was the work of the renowned phantom thief, Mastamaske. Maske the Mask? Is that how you say that? According to a spokesperson, Lordly Taylor received a threat letter some days ago. This is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. Lordly Taylor? Well, Nick, what are you going to do? 
Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet. Treasure, Lord B. Taylor. Do you don't think? Yes, now get up, Nick. It was stolen by Mastamaske. Our most valuable treasure. The Korean sacred urn! It was stolen! What? Sacred urn. Fresh my memory a little. What's the sacred urn? It's the only it's only the most important treasure in Korean village, that's all. Look, it's right there on this poster. The one that they broke? <laughs> Don't you remember what's inside? The urn contains a very important soul. Namely, the soul of mystic Amy Fay, the founder of the Korean channeling technique. Right, Pearly? <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. Hold up. I thought that urn had the name Amy written on it. Now it says I am. Hmm, any idea how that happened, Pearly? Huh? I, um, well... <laughs> There's some things le best left unsolved, wouldn't you say, Mr. Nick? That's right. One year ago, there was a murder in Korean Village, Maya's hometown. The sacred urn. It turned out to be the important clue to that case. Okay, the toilet's shinier than the judge's head, so let's see what's next. What's wrong with you, Nick? What do you mean? What do you mean by- Mr. Nick! Your beloved Mystic Maya's treasure has been stolen! Doesn't that even bother you? But I thought the urn was the village's treasure, so I don't see how- The village is Mystic Maya. She's the future master of the Korean channeling School of Channeling. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Nick. I won't let you say you don't. Okay, okay, I do. What am I supposed to do about that? Isn't it obvious? Go and find the bad guy who did this. Yeah, and get the sacred urn back. But I'm not a detective, I'm a lawyer. That has nothing to do with this. You're a real gentleman. You would find it in, find it for your beloved mystic Maya. Oh man, there's no winning against Pearl's fairy tale image of love. <laughs> so what's the name of this bad guy again? Master Maske. Nick, make a, make a note of it, Master Maske. It's terrible. I was arrested and everything. Right. Back here. One year ago. Murder in Korean village. A man was killed during during one of Maya's spirit channelings. And this urn wound up being the key piece of evidence that proved her innocence. Um, Mr. Nick. Would you mind not telling Mystic Maya about that? You promised, remember? You said you wouldn't tell anyone I broke the urn. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember. This urn used to say Amy on it. So Purr's accidentally broken into a million pieces. She tried to secretly fix it. Let's just say it didn't work out so well. Sorry, I'm not so good at arts and crafts spelling either. Anyway, this is how her gluing project turned out. She put the pieces together wrong, and now, instead of Amy, it says I am. I can't believe no one's noticed this until now, a whole year later. I can't believe it myself. Hmm. I guess we'll move? Right, let's see if we can find some clues that that might lead us to the bad guy. Doesn't look like anything has been disturbed. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Hmm. Bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around here, pal. Wait a minute, that voice. Oh no, not him again. <laughs> it's you! And I'm the one who should be saying, not again. Why is it that every time something bad ha happens, you always show up, pal? I should be asking you that. Aren't there any other detectives? No, I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here any... Oh, right, all right. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Why don't you two kiss and make up already? 
Um, hello, it's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh, it's you, little missy. Uh, uh, actually, my name is Gumshoe. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Now's a good chance for you to try to remember it right. If it's too long for you, you can just call him Dick. <laughs> oh, okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. Oh, uh, yeah, good to see you too again. Good to see you again too, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us what about what happened? Oh, you're trying to remember my name, Atta Girl. Um, just, it's just Gumshoe, okay? And I mean, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh, well, the criminal's name is Mas Damask. I know about that too. Detective, can you tell us something other than that? Well, I guess I sort of owe you guys, in a way. Crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from the guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said the urn was just stolen. Scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. That urn was being kept under great careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who was guarding the basement warehouse? The guy, it's all his fault that the thief got away, pal. Solves case one case and gets all gets a swelled head thinking that he's a ancient he's an ace detective. Ace detective? Hey, Detective Gumshoe, about this mass Damaske. Is he famous? What? You're joking, right, Nick? Mass Damaske is the hottest thing since sliced bread. Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unsuspecting victims. But underneath those disguises is the true mass Damaske. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest works of art, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Lordly Taylor had only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? Then you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred urn? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he steals something. Calling card? Huh. They mentioned that on the TV. So, why do you call him an ace detective anyways? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Master Maske has made five heists so far. The fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that's impressive. All by himself? Yeah, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is a good, as good as he says. Time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. None of us has, has ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. But Mr. Ice Detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. He's down in the basement warehouse, huh? So what's this calling card? Here it is. Don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's the mark on the front? Mass Damask is sig signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got have got it on them. They didn't mention that on the newsflash. We're withholding that de Sorry. We're with <laughs> <We're quitting. laughs> We're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way we can tell if the, the calling card is real or not is by this this emblem. That makes sense. When you get famous, there are always Im imitators. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Um, thanks, I guess. Oh, these are all the people we have. Hm. Uh, okay, this is the poster, right? Statue of the founder of the Korean, chilling, Korean chilling technique. He's holding a... Shichishito. Shichi... Shichishito. 
Treasures Korean Village, supposedly priceless. Looks like a plain old pot. Sent before a heist, the emblem is top secret. Oh, I can read it. To security at Lordly Taylor, I'll be coming to purloin the most priceless work of art on display in your Treasures of Korean of Treasures of Korean exhibit. Take good care of the speckled urn, won't you? Yours truly, Master Maske. Interesting that he sends like a warning card. Okay, well, let's move. God. No matter how tiny times we come here, this place always gives me chills. Probably because it's air conditioned to protect the art pieces, you know? Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos. Huh? What the heck does that mean? Oh. I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Uh, um, who are you anyway? Shh! Silence! <laughs> <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. What do you see? Safari! What? <laughs> The truth has once again be elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Neither very advanced of their trade. Am I wrong? Yikes, that's scary. How did you know that? How, you say? The universal skep skeptic would say this that how is nothing but a question of why. A traveler of both space, time and space and a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. Without further ado, let me fulfill what I what should be the first duty of any gentleman. Introduce myself. The name is Atmi. Luke Atmi. Ace Detective. Oh, um, hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. <laughs> um, the name's right. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. <laughs> I'm Mia Fey. Oh, I'm not, I'm not Mia. I'm Maya Fey, a spirit medium. <laughs> and I am a pro Fey. I'm Mystic Maya's cousin and um, spirit medium Ace the Princess. Excellent. Well then, shall we begin our little game? Game? What is the phrase one short of a baker's dozen comes to mind to, with this guy? Um, so are you really as famous as you say? Of course, for a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I had no idea anyone has left it in, was left in this city that, that had not heard of me. Look at me. I'm Master Maske's arch enemy, the ace detective Luke at me. At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom over this large grand city. One embodies the nefarious voices of darkness, the other the angelic... Cherubi cherubs of light. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I've been personally on the heels of this villain since since his first crime. After learning the criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very latest loathsome larceny. I even returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of the portrait of Mijina to the scene. Crime scene. And I did it all by myself. Took it back from Mastamaske. With my rotty mind and my brilliant muscles. Yeah, they mentioned it on the news in the great people around town segment. Said that the museum you gave an incredible jewel as a reward. Is it the one on his finger? Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not that much. So in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Oh! Tell us what you know about the Mass Damasque. Please keep it simple. Like about how I've devoted my life to thwarting this dastardly deeds. His drash, drash, dastardly deeds. <laughs> Last night here in the bowels of the store, we were locked in a most glorious battle. I see. Huh. Hey, on a second. You were here last night? Here? In Lordly Taylor? Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> 
whatever, whatever, wherever. But Damask, I just got flashbacks to Byakuya. <laughs> wherever Damask goes, you will find Attorney Atomy laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps, more like Damask out. Uh, Damask out elegance to you and made a beautiful gate getaway. This time, I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Um, can you tell us what ex exactly what happened here last night? But of course, after all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> I first received the request for my services 20 days ago. And it was 10 days ago that we received Mass Damask calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived. Yes, you see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. A mere 10 days after hiring me, her most her worst premonitions were realized. The calling card arrived, right? Yes, so it's detective that I am that I am, I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse. I waited for him, alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? Ridiculous. Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? I've got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let Damask get away. I always, I always operated alone and concealed, out of the sight of others. Corn sealed? Precisely. Even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies first, you must fool your friends. It's my own original proverb. Anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I was here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary skull came through the entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. But that's impossible. How could I just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be so ridiculous, sir lawyer. If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though one came through those doors last night, a precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? That's just not possible. Hmm. I guess I gotta examine. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Sir, sir lawyer, please refrain from such crude behavior. Huh? What do you mean? This criminal is an artist. The crime scene is a can the canvas upon which he paints. Uh, only I, Ace Detective at me, have an eye which is educated enough to read the signs. Could you translate that for me, Nick? I think you pretty much said don't touch anything, amateurs. If there's something you wish to know about, but you have to, if there's something you wish to know about, you have, you have but to ask at me. I know everything there is to know about my rival, Mass Damaske. What do I do now? Does he have any top secret information? Stuff only a real crime buff would know? Think about what to ask while I listen to what Mr. Ace Detective has to say. So I can't look at anything. Hmm. Hmm. Should I present my badge? Sorry, I can't be more helpful. I have no interest, I, but I have no interest save that of finding evidence against my arch rival. Now it's okay. If he's just a bit of a pid of a piddling evidence hog, that's his defense style. Piddling no evidence hog, you say. In that case, I would simply I simply be wasting my breath. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, Maya. Why couldn't you have said I was a, I was a rival and not a piddling evidence hog? Hmm. I mean, we did get some of this other evidence. Maybe I should ask that. 
We'll start this way. Mask to mask is calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? Quite impressive. I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. Surprised to see see you in possession of such a top secret piece of information. Well, we got an ace lawyer and an ace spirit medium and an ace cousin apprentice here. Yes, indeed. I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. I don't know if I really want this guy to like us, ever. Well, sir lawyer. I'm told that you are you too are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure that's right. We're going to find that sacred urn no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If perchance you should discover something of value, return them to my office. My Office of Earthly Delights, the Atomy Detective Agency. Office of Earthly Delights? Well then, Sir Lawyer, if, you, if you'll if you excuse me, I have much to do. Oh. Okay, so I just had to show that. Good. Wait a minute. He's gone. I don't like the idea of this guy, of, of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. I want to go to his office too. Take me with you, okay? I always look at stuff. A pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. There may be clues to the, to the thief's identity in there. I, I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? That urn has always been, in it, been on its stand in the winding way of Fey Manor. So there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I was so proud of it. Poor Maya. May it have been better if Master Maske had taken the box too. Hey, Pearly. Do you know what this is? It's a computer. A uh, computer? Oh, I've heard of those. It's such a cute name. Looks like this computer is for storing the da data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out of the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. It's probably the trap that the detectives shut up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. Might even find the photo find a photo of Mas Namaske. Hmm, let's see here. Man, I really stink at working with these things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? You're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. What? No idea you were so pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. I guess you have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off once last night. Hmm. I can't. My eyes are like straining. It's a security camera. It's trained on the big door in the store room. It's set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out. A security camera? Yeah, go stand in front of the door and it'll snap your photo too, Pearly. Um, Mystic Maya, do you think I should smile? Nah, it's for criminals. So I think you should make a really scary face. Like this! Wow, this is awesome. What did Miss Andrews say it was called again? Uh, Shichu Shito. It's literally seven branch sword in Japanese. Or so says Miss Andrews. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun. Pretty cashy, huh? I bet it'd sell like hotcakes. Um, there's something about the that bothers me. Wow, you're really firing on all the, on all the cylinders today, Pearly. This sword. Wasn't Mystic Amy holding it last night? Uh... And another thing, the sword wasn't bent last night like it is now. You're right. Awesome, Pearly. 
I wouldn't expect anything less from my little ace apprentice. So it is bent. So that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Ah, I just saw her something. I need to take an at me smashed ma mass to mask it with it. Like this. Youch! What the heck? What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Oh man, my head. My hair! Uh, here we go. Okay, let's look at this. Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. I didn't do that. Well, it wasn't here last night. I wouldn't have noticed the color this outrageous. But this paint has already dried up. Well then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Mr. Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast. Besides, I told you, it wasn't me. Looks like it's been several days since it was spilled. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom side of this stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. A box or something? The statue of Mystic Amy is so cool. I want a gold statue myself. We could put it in the office. Hey, it's right, Enko. How about a golden statue of me? Um, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, Pearls? Statue of Mystic Amy. Was this where it was last night? Ah. Uh. Oh. It got pushed back. Pretty sure I was closer to the door. Yeah, I think you're right. Good job, Pearly. I would expect anything less from my ace cousin. So the statue was moved on the night of the crime. Nice. Um, okay, there's not much else. Door. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? Looks like this is the door to the actual storeroom. I see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. I guess that's where they were keeping the secret urn. Remember, Maya, as Andrew said, we're not allowed in there. Okay, um... Um, move the night of the crime. Um, okay. Warehouse camera went off at around 1 a.m. on the night of the crime. Sarah, why so tore? How did the head of Amy Faye's statue? Wasn't bent before the crime. Okay, I guess we'll move around. Oh! Okay, um... Let's move. Hey Nick! Your cell phone's ringing! Hello, Phoenix right here. Oh! <laughs> it's me, Gumshoe. <laughs> Gumshoe? What is it? What's so funny? I'll tell you what's funny, pal. I finally beat him. I beat Mr. Ace Detective. Finally, this underdog is the alpha dog today. That stuck-up detective's met his match. Yep, I finally caught him. Lock, stock, and barrel. There's no escape for him. You caught him? Are you saying... You captured Bas Damasque? Bingo. Well, actually, he surrendered. I still got him. Bas Damasque? Surrendered? That's great! So when can we come and pick up the secret urn? Um, uh, well you see, I was gonna tell you. What? Something's wrong? I think he could swing by the detention center sometime. Detention center? He wants to talk to you. Mask to mask you, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal. So get over here soon. Ooh. Detention center, huh? Well, um, we better go there. Hey, pal, welcome to the detention center. You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yep, after all, we got mask to mask. Right, but, um, 
So where's the secret urn? Oh, sorry about that, pal. Guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. You know, he's right, Nick. He is? Think about it real hard. We are the victims. Well, I guess so, in a way. Um... I'm so used to thinking of the, the victim as a dead person, because we're always on murder cases. I excuse me. But anyway, I have to get the sacred urn back. Please! Don't just ignore me! <gasps> eh. Um, who are you? I, um, I, I... I'm... Mas... The Maske? Okay? Hey, Nick. Doesn't he look kind of, well... Gangly? I'm Ron Delight. The famous Mas de Maske. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> really? <laughs> So you're the mask to mask night guy. Mask to mask guy. Yes, you bet. No, er, that's wrong. You see, it's complicated. Sort of yes and sort of no. You, you know what I mean. Hmm? What's wrong? Well, when I say I'm wrong, what I really mean is... What I really mean to say is that it's not right per se. You see, it's not so mask to mask. It's actually... Mas de Masque. What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling. We know that much. <laughs> don't do that. Don't look at me like that. I don't need your pity. I need your crybaby, too. So, why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because, well... I know why. It's because you stole such a precious, priceless treasure. Now you're overwhelmed with guilt. Am I right? Priceless treasure. That broken urn, old urn? Um, I have a little favor to ask. Yes, what's it? What is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? D Desi? Look, we really want our sacred. We really want our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back. I really will. Uh, maybe not? No, I can't. I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting people. Um, Mr. Nick. I couldn't hear what he just said, especially that last part. Oh, is he whispering? Um, Mr. Damas, do you think you could speak up a little bit more? Yes, sir, I will. I promise. Er, maybe not. I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I can't really do anything. <laughs> Mr. Damas, I bought the urn. Oh, yes, the urn, right away. Er, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but I'm actually afraid. I'm af actually, but actually, I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me anyway. Enough already, just tell us straight. Please, please don't yell at me. <sighs> I, uh, I'm sorry. That urn, I, uh, I lost it. What? What did you just say? Did you say you lost it? Yes, er, no. Um, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. What do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it, like I said. Things just happen. You're on the train, and you get distracted, and you know, you forget your bag, you know? What? You forgot our sacred urn on a train? Wait a minute. You went on a train just like that? No, I, I... I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. Anyway. I'm sorry! I lost it somewhere. I don't know where. This guy's story is more surreal than a dolly painting. Are you really sure this creep is Mas Damaske? Maya, don't call him a creep. Though I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. So who's this Desi person? Please don't talk about my wife like that! Why does guy have a wife? <laughs> I guess she must be his wife. 
I'm sorry, the truth is. It was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Um, do you think you could go visit her at my hideout? H hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Actually, I meant to say my secret base. Secret base? Well, my apartment, actually. Palazzo... Palazzo Pepe... Palo... Pepe? Third floor. Let's go have a look, Nick. To Master Mask's hideout. Um, something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. Alright, I'll leave you be for now, I guess. Wow, check this place out. No doubt about it, this is Master Mask's hideout, alright? Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Huh? Who are you people? Uh, um, are you Desi Delight? That's right, I'm Desire. Oh, no, I'm Desiree. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm Desire. Oh no, I'm Desiree. <laughs> That's what it is. Ah. Oh, you must be the lawyer and the victim? Yeah, that's us. Your husband told us to stop by and speak with you. Um, I'm Maya, I'm Maya Faye. Maya, I'm Maya Faye, and this is the Phoenix right? And he's the, he, attorney at law! Oh my gosh. Nikki boy and Maya, huh? Can't tell how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um, <laughs> you're welcome. Did she really call me Nikki boy? Um, about your husband. He <laughs> he, isn't he the cutest? Bit weak sometimes, though. A bit? By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh? Really? They said you own the urn, and that and that you're doing some shady training at a law office now. Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He's insisting that he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me. I stole it, Ern, he kept saying. As if it was even possible. Huh? But are you saying he didn't? Haha, <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a priceless treasure. And he's, you, you know. It's in a... Is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? Me, I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? Yes, I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along my along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Well, I think that depends on how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living in a boring, dreary dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. You're right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Other ways? Yes! Money! Money's incredibly rich and super generous. He bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much that it makes Ron's head spin. The other day, actually, it happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high-maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Delight get all his money from? Ronnie's a, a Ronnie is a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? They get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. Security guard. I think my head... I think it's my head... It's my turn for my head to spin. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Hmm. What time did the incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, according to Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, uh, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. P pulled over? Yes, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Um, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Yes. Anyway, 
Last night, I got pulled over by a policeman. Can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught, caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. It was about three in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she got a, she's got an airtight alibi. What about Mr. Delight? Don't really know. We weren't together at the time of the at that time of the night. When I got home, he was already fast asleep. Basically, he's got no alibi. Hmm. Should I present this? What do you know about this? Can't show her that, Nick! I'm on this talk secret! Don't you remember? Duh! Oops, sorry about that. Oh, I don't know. The way she just said top secret was a worse giveaway than I, what I did. Ooh, when I hear the word top secret, it just piques my interest like nothing else. I guess I'll look around. Oh, that's so cute! It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow, there's no fooling you. I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Mr. Nick. A balloon is supposed to be top secret. Who knows that Ronda Light really is masked maske? I don't know, tell Maya. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. A bunch of cheap costume pieces arranged inside a nice frame. Look, Nick, it's a fake beard. There's also a mask made out of cardboard. Here, Nick. Try on this fake beard. Come on, try it on! Hey, cut it out! Now put on the mask. <laughs> it's Phoenix Damasque! Let's borrow it for a while. No way, I'm not stealing from a thief. I have enough bad karma as it is. It's Mask Damasque! Tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see that. <laughs> I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. Ha 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 I don't get it. What's this supposed to be, Nick? Hmm. Nick! It's a torpedo! It's hard to believe, but it sure looks real. Where could he have picked up something like this? Please don't say torpedoes are things people just leave lying around. There are a bunch of books lying here. More romantic sounding novels about famous heists and fantastic thieves. Wow, look at all the bookmarks and notes stuck into them. Let's see here. No, must remember this th this thief's way of laughing. Very useful. Calling card is an important part of any good thief's mo modus op operandi. Wow, Ron really studied this stuff. Whole bunch of stuff piled up over here. Duck and cover! It's a missile! Did you know there there's dynamite in missiles? Not very they're, but they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh wait, they're just really well made toys. These rolls of paper stuck in the trash can. Theft of the Mar Mazarin stone, the greatest albatros strat strategy. Theft of the immortal goddess statue, the great knuckle bomber strategy. Please even investigate this place. Hey Nick! On top of the chair. Looks like an envelope and a letter. Don't just stand there. Come on, let's read it. Ma, you know we should we shouldn't do that. What are you talking about? That letter could be an important clue. No way, you can't just go reading a private letter because you feel like it. Hm. It's not just because I feel like it, it really could be important. If I was sure it was a clue. I guess they wouldn't mind. Hmm, this thing looks vaguely familiar. Oh, I know, it's a fishbowl! Well, an upside down one anyway. I think it's a helmet. An alien helmet. Looks like a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. Alien transceiver. Nick, do you think you could act, act like a grown up for a bit, little bit? Getting lectured by Maya to be more of an adult. Now that's a new low. Hmm. 
well. I guess I don't really have anything to ask her. Um... Let's go back here. We still haven't gone here. This is a detective agency? Looks more like the set of some B-grade horror movie. Uh, hello, is anyone here? Looks like nobody's home. Hmm, what a waste of time. Hey, I know. Let's take that frame picture back with us as a memento. Don't you dare, Maya. So I'll have to try back later. Huh. Okay, just gonna leave for now. Is there anything new? No. Okay, maybe I've got a present. Or maybe we should ask. Maybe we should ask him some questions about some evidence. Hmm. Don't really know if I could say one way or the other. Can't really catch that. Hmm. Oh! That's Master Mask's calling card. Pretty nice looking, huh? He looks so happy. Not very good at writing, you see. So I bought a book called How to Write Business Letters and Studied Hard. I guess you could call thievery a type of business. I'm really sorry I caused so much trouble. So sorry, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have stolen it from the first place. But the only thing I did wrong was lose it. Uh, that's not right. I was wrong either way. Should the owners of the other treasures feel the same way? You sure seem sorry. Who would have imagined that such a famous thief would have such a pure heart? Hmm. Maybe I should ask him about his wife. That's my lovely wife. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she sure is. Oh boy, the topic... The one topic I didn't want to get into in front of pearls. But... This he doesn't prove on my interests. So I'm afraid she doesn't like me anymore. What should I do? If I want to win her back... I'm really going to have to be super honest. Well, he's gone back into his own little world again. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always been interested in, myst in mysterious masked men. It's what you wanted to be when you grew up. Yes, er, no, sort of, but not exactly. I never imagined I'd feel as bad as I do now about the treasures be being stolen. People, can sh people sure can be complicated, can't they? Him. Do you know him? He claims to be your arch enemy and rival. That person. He, he's not my arch enemy or my rival. Well, actually, no. Now that I think about it, the terms arch enemy and rival are the same thing. They are rivals. Only people who have it out for each other would disagree like this. Hmm. Okay, ask him about this. Hmm. So it's the same. Oops. I guess I'll ask her some questions. Um, Miss Delight, you must know, right? About your husband and Mas Damaske? Mas Damaske? Of course! I know all about it! 
My husband is his biggest friend, fan. Yep. What? Huh? Biggest fan? Yes, and Rai can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole misunderstanding happened. Wait a minute. Did you say delusional? Yes, that's right. I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. See, Ronnie actually believes that he is Master Damaske. What? What are you talking about? Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got it. So when did Ron first become Master Damaske? What are you talking about? He's not Master Damaske. Huh? But... Wait a second. Look around this room. This place is obviously Master Damaske. Damascus hideout. No, no, you're totally wrong. Real face hideout wouldn't look like this. It's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks he looks up to heroic fi figures. Heroic figures. M Mas Damascus is a bad guy. So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, I suppose so. Why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? She has a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't Master Maske after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nikki boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside, but the one thing I don't stand for is illegal activity. I had the feeling you wouldn't. You're tough, but I can tell you have a good heart. Somebody afraid my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter? Yes, it's yes for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Miss Delight. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave the, leave it all to us. Huh. Here we go. I'm making progress, totally. Oh, that's right. Here, this is from your wife. Oh, from Desi. Thank you. You're given to Mas Damaske. Actually, more like taken. My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. It's pushing onto the letter so hard. The ink is going to squeeze out. He looks happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. Um, Mr. Lawyer? Yes? In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Um, I know this would be asking a lot, but... Could you please take my case? The trial starts tomorrow. Hang on a second. He can't be your lawyer. Why not? What do you mean, why not? You're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damas guy? Ask you guy? Well, yeah, but according to De Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man, he's, in he's deluded himself into thinking he did it. Right, Mr. Nick? Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband. Well, that's true. Or, actually... Or, actually not. Actually, it's hard to say. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's spreading! <laughs> oh, please, I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return. What should I do? Oh, this is a choice? Well, how was somebody supposed to progress the game? Take his case. I really don't think he did it. <laughs> There's no way. Well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to give it a try. I'll defend you. Really, you will? Hey, what are you doing, Nick? He's a thief! You can't trust him! Well, he may be a thief. But I think there's more to this case than meets the eye. Mr. Nick! I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. Pearls? Yeah, will you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya? I... I'll never forgive you, ever! Wah! Pearly, wait! This is going to be ugly. I'll go after her.
Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, Maya. Where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. Go check on her later, would you? What about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, I, I know you have a lot of work to do. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick. Let's get this show on the road. Oh. Mr. Nick, welcome back. Hey, Pearls, you're back too, I see. I, um, went and bought a strawberry cake. I'll go make some tea to go with it. Hey, uh, Pearls? Looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. Right. Miss Maya, tea is ready. Oh, thanks. Come on, Mr. Nick. Please have some of this cake. Yeah, thanks. Um, pearls. Oh, excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Hey, it's okay, I just cleaned it this morning. Too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about her. First met Pearls a year ago. It was when that murder happened to Korean Village. Still remember what she said to me when we first met. Y you're Mr. Nick, right? You're... You're Mystic Maya's special someone. Hey, Maya. I always thought it was because she was so young, but... But what? Rose. I think she's got the wrong idea. About you and me. Huh? Uriah. Um... There's something you need to understand. What is it? Well, it's kind of like a Korean village custom. Sort of. Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only I'm her only cousin, and well... Because of the murder ca case last year, Pearlie's mother is... Oh, yeah. Right. I remember now. Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. So you see, I'm the only family Pearly has right now. But it's the same for me too, too. Maya, my mother's gone too. Hardly any men in Korean village. Now that you mention it, I never actually saw any men when I visited. Pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. About how spiritual powers run very strong in the Fae family. Yeah, you did. That's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of Korean village kind of revolves around its women. Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh. Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Especially if a man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father is gone? He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. So your mother's still missing. Yeah, no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother, Misty Fay, Current master of the Korean channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. Brother doesn't come back. Then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. 
Mystic Maya, master of the Korean technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the Fey main family who's the spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around the office. Yeah, I know. But first, I want to talk to Pearls. Um, Mr. Nick? Yeah. I, I acted like a baby. Pearls? I doubted you, even though Mr. Ma Maya com trusted you completely. Guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick. Yes? I, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Oh, it's okay. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Well, I'm going out now for a bit. Huh? Where are you going? Maybe small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. So I'm going to show you I could be useful too by finding some evidence. Hey, wait a... Actually, she sermons fast. Nick, let's get... Let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna do some actual investigating. <laughs> Maya! What? Uh. Oh, what happened? Oh, that was weird. Oh, Miss Andrews. I'm so sorry, it's not my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn. Please come down. What's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Maya, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. No, it's okay, I don't... I know I don't look it. Look it. I'm good with my hands. I can make you another urn. Hold on. Just wait, okay? Breathe, calm down, and talk to us. Forgive me. Forgive me. Um, so when did you get the calling card from Mask the Mask? Okay. <laughs> See, exactly ten days ago. I was going to show it to the police. The detective stopped me. Um, so you asked Detective at me to help with security. Yes, in fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much about, more about Master Damasque than the police. So you hired him for security, even before the calling card arrived. Well, yes, I had the premonition that something might something bad might happen. And to trust my hunches. That's why there are security cameras even in the basement warehouse. Yes, Lordly Taylor is very serious about their security measures. Measures. It's a way of saying, bring it on to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night. Even left with a left with a nice souvenir. Um, can you tell us about the security for the treasure exhibit? It's all my fault. I never should have called this partly part part this poultry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. Why do you say that? The urn was that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. Zero? Polished it until it was just about glowing. Thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But that urn contains the soul of Mystic Ma Amy. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective at me. But five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit, exhibit items from Crane. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. Maybe one of them at was actually Mask Damasque in disguise! No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. Hmm. Miss Andrews. I know, I know, it's all my fault. It's done, it's done. I'll make it up by making you a new urn for you. Wasting my time, she's far too gone. Hmm. Um, I guess we'll go to the agency, see if he's here. Hello? Well, well, how lovely is it to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Um, we're actually kind of... Shh, silence. 
<laughs> Precisely as expected. What is it? Zavari. The truth has once again been elegant elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? Um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! So my estimation was correct. Zavri, how truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? I should before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Mass Namaske since his very first theft. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel in tier, uh, the tier of Emenon? Um, I first encountered, encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime it's seen itself. That's why you were hired as a security for the treasure's exhibit. Pretty sure you said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lord Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. Must be the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. How did Basta Basket you guys just heal the earth? It's the billion dollar question. What's what is the Masque's modus operandi? Um Mr. Attorney Mr. Atvi, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mass Damasque. Sacred Urn? Pfft. That has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Mass Damasque stole this time? I'm a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do yourselves... Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw out to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Um, there's something that kind of that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask anything you like. After all, we're all he we're, we are all but seekers wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Master Maske managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard duty at the at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Master Maske. Oh! One lock. What the? It's a psych lock. Psych lock? Hmm. Hey, Nick. What is this psych lock thing? Well, the Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. Breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magatama has that kind of power? Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year. Well, it's true that the Magatama is a prized fa fa family heirloom, but... Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know how, know much about what I can do with... What I can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Korean channeling school someday. So how do you do it? How do you break the psych lock thingy? Well, you press the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool, can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn how to be a pa how to be patient. Well, do I have evidence? I don't even know if I have evidence for this. Detective at me. You were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Master Damasca commit the crime. Well, now I hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse, that much is true. But I can tell for you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this at me guy is lying through his teeth. I know, I'll show him some proof. Detective at me. I have here proof that someone went through the door last night. This. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. 
I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly exactly once last night. What? My monocle didn't catch anyone in the flash. Fix my pig. Must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? What are you saying that I don't that I didn't do my duty properly? Detective Atme, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep have it hidden. I just got just got and I've got just the piece of evidence to prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mass Damaske. In that case, the reason you didn't at the time was because you were using the bathroom unconscious. Um, fast asleep using the bathroom unconscious? Oh, because he was hit in the head unconscious. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. This. Detective Atme, you were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ha, <laughs> you surely must be joking. You think that I, Luke Atme, could be knocked unconscious so easily? The sword proves it. That's... Before the theft, the sword was in the hand of the statue of Amy Fay. Furthermore, at the time, it was not bent. Uh, er... There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by the sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Yeah! I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you. Clobber? What an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. Coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse. No, the coward must have wormed his way through somewhere besides the door. I guess besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. And my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch, Mr. Atme should have have his poor head examined. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief sat that badly? Mass knocked Atme during out during the crime with a blow to the back of the head. Well, looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? The enemy is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Mass Damaske. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Mass Damaske. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so. But I installed a security camera just for just for just such con contingen contingency. Oh. Last night the camera went off exactly once. Behold! This is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. <gasps> Th that's him! Master Maske! Nice, dude. They can be none other than the arched colonel, Master Maske. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such bra brazen crimes. What are you talking about? So, what did you mean he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. Should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. But how would you know about that? Hmm. Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of Earth. Most brilliant mind ever... Friendly mind since, well, ever. Look at me. I guess we'll better, we better go take a look just in case. Thanks, dude. This. Hey, Nick. Remember what Detective Atme said? Great. Um, I literally just read that. I'm not gonna read that again. Green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. K-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
Okay, let's have a look. Don't want your true identity revealed to the world. Come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. 50,000? This, this is a blackmail letter. Sure looks like a major clue, all right. Hmm. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please come in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay. I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Do we? Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry. Got another guess. Ah! You... You're... No! <laughs> Nick, it's you! <laughs> and Maya, too! What a fluke! <laughs> Larry! Long time no see! <laughs> what? You know each other. Nicky boy. Do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Something? I... I underestimated you, Nick. Gorgeous lady like this? And married too? Way to go, dude. I knew it. It's just when things can't get any worse, it's time to queue in, queue in with the butts. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been not exactly a close friend. But yeah, we know each other. Hey man, that wasn't nice. I was your very first client. We've got quite the storied history, he and I. What we used to say... And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. But come on now, you're embarrassing me. In front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna check on my bike. Nice girl, that Desi. So how you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. What have you been what have you been up to this whole this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. What's with those clothes? You look well weird. Hey man, that's a cold for. My part this is my uniform from my part-time job. Can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. Ha ha ha. Uh <laughs> What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you. Women, I don't trust them anymore. Got dumped again? Well, you know Benifer? I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom, and my whole life changed. Benifer? Caddy Tom? Never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude. Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Well, actually, anyway. Sounds like you had quite the adventure. Women! They're so... So... Ah! <laughs> oh... But you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. He looks like he's still the same old Larry. So what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? Just a natural born guy sky, that's all. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet, you say? You said you found this last night? Yeah, I had a driver's license in it. So I figured I'd just return it myself. Hmm. Hang on, let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Just these pictures in here. Yeah, I guess he really dicks his wife, huh? Hey Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Aw, oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check out, check out Miss Delight. So you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know. Security guard, huh? So that's that's what the uni that uniform is all about. So what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking that? Trying to see if I got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 in the morning, on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. 
After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See? It's got a serial number right there on it. Right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something that's not quite secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Hmm. Thanks, dude. <gasps> He's not here. Damn it, I wanted to talk to him. Well, um, let's look at this. Okay, we got this picture. Wow. 5843. So two minutes before 1am. Blackmail letter. Don't want your true identity revealed to the world. Come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other the other day instead. Found by Larry at his part-time security job, building neither crime. Found inside Ron's wallet, apparently used for building for the building of his part-time job. Well, I guess let's go here. Maybe we can ask um, Adrian. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Or can I ask her about Hmm. No. Well let's ask let's go back. Here. Let's ask him about Ron, I guess. Larry, what about this person? Meets me! What the? All of a sudden he's got nothing to say? That Desi is one awesome lady, alright. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. A long time, huh? Yeah, well, uh, except for what I feel for you, Maya. I don't think he even knows what he's saying anymore. Well, what do I do now? <sighs> I wanted to go ask him a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Dang. Now what do I do? He's not here, I can't talk to him. Ron received a blackmail mail letter. I think Miss Delight knows about this. If she did, I don't think she would have been smiling like that. I wonder if we should tell her about it. I think it'd be smarter if we didn't. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Huh? 
A blackmail letter. I thought I thought it was wrong. Um, do you know anything about this? What? I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth. Who? Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me. I thought you were my friend. Fifty thousand dollars. I don't have that kind of money. No, you don't understand. This blackmail letter has was sent to Ron Delight. Oh, man, you scared me. I almost felt like I had a heart attack, you idiot. Wait, I'm the idiot. I was totally confused because it says KB Security right on the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? That's where I got a part-time job, at KB Security. What? I should really find out more about this KB Security company. Oh. So you're sure about this key card? This key card we use at the building I work in, according to the serial number. It's one for the CEO's office. To get into that room, and you need, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'll never have a chance with Desi. It sounds like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Oh, I just got more information for that. Keep it security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is always right, is, is always, is, is away right now. You know what, what mice do when the cat's away. Yes, yes. Anyway, how far away is this company? Let's see, about 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. Hmm, well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lord Lee, Lord Lee Taylor, right? Take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. Ron Delight was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! They couldn't have stolen the secret urn. Hey, Nick! Your phone! Hello? Is this the right residence? Uh, Pearls, where are you? I thought I'd go to Lordy Taylor to, to try and find more clues, but... I'm afraid I've gone lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Zavari when he's excited. Look at me. Ace detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. All right. I'm a little scared. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. What? That phone call just now. It sounded like real. Sounded like. Sounded like real cutie. Sounded. That's not right. Another one of yours. Um, <clears throat> special friends. Say goodbye to Mr. Light for me, would you, Larry? <laughs> um, here. Ah! Mr. Nick! Mr. Maya! Pearly! Never thought I'd see the two of you again. So Mr. Ace Detective out of our office. Yes, when I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since we were here last? Now that you mention it. This big old bag? This bag? I'm sure it wasn't here before. Looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey. Wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Property. Don't be such a fuddy duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true. Truth be told, I have to admit I'm kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec. Take it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard. It's smooth. Uh oh. Well, hello there. Eek! He's here. What are you doing, sir lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant off of the court ignoring the law so fr frankly I'm sorry I'm really sorry Maya made me do it Nick I can't believe you 
Someone never uses a lady as an excuse for his poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial. Zavari. Shall we say the figure... The figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime. Wow, Nick. Sounds like it's going to be really exciting. Um, what's going to happen at the trial tomorrow? That's so dramatic. Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Tomorrow, sh tomorrow will be the day I remem to remember. I look at me. We'll take the stand. And then Savari, my, testi my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thief's co-conspirators. Con Conspirators? <laughs> You're quite on the defensive, I see, however. It is not I... It is not I that is your greatest enemy. There's a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot? Godot. You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is the mask. Hee <laughs> hee, my dear lady, lady. Times have changed, but sadly, the people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Um, who is this Gadot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Gadot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in the country, in this country, but in heaven. Gadot, a legend or myth? Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance of simply to simply meet him. Prosecutor Gadot. But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Gadot. It's Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> isn't that right, Nick? Still surprised that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. The ace prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Gadot as the best in country. Huh, and you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke at me of the prosecutor's office. It's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Gadot really that strong? Hmm, I seem to remember hearing someone like that. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. Looks like we're done investigating for the day. Hehehe, <laughs> it's your lawyer. He has been set at all places. Uh, a place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial. Oh, that was a long investigation. Jesus. Oof. I'm tired. Yes, Willis. Okay, next time we start the trial. Yay! <laughs> I'm tired. Oh my gosh, that was so much reading. I'm not used to reading for such long periods of time. Oh, it's like hurting my brain. <laughs> Alright, well next time we got the trial to do. We'll see how that goes, I guess. It'll be interesting, I think. I don't know. Um, well, what's gonna happen? I definitely don't think that guy did it. There's no way. There's no way, dude. <laughs> so he's definitely innocent. We can say that for sure. But, yeah. So next time, we're gonna try to save his butt. <laughs> That'll be it for now, so we'll see you then. Goodbye.